uh, when I go on the edge, yeah, kind of. Kind of like just an open stride. Are you like looking up at the jumbotron when you're running in that direction to see if there's tacklers around you? When I go to the sideline, I, I actually didn't look up there. Some somebody mentioned that to me on the side. Did you look up? No, uh, I didn't. But um, I kind of felt I knew somebody was getting close to me right on um, my right there. So like, when he came, I just kind of pulled up my legs a little bit. Have you ever had this many yards in a game? Yeah, yeah, I, I did it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that feel like when you first open? What's that feeling like as you tiptoe the sideline? Yeah, I mean, that was my first one in college, so uh, it felt really good. Uh, I feel really, really confident, and uh, I'm just glad I'm healthy and I'm able to play well. Thank you. And gosh, last two weeks, we had a lot of yards after that contact. Just what's, what's important in those moments where I'm able to absorb a hit and then keep going? Yeah, I mean, that started back when I tried putting on weight uh, at the start of the season. and. Um, I'm not running around at 180 any, anymore. I'm 210, 212 each day. So um, uh, now I'm able to take a bit of a beating. It's not easy to take down. So feel really good. Like that, that first touchdown, only we popped one guy with the stiff arm. Yeah. yeah, I mean we we practice that stuff in indie drills throughout the week. So I got to give some credit to CP and the coaches on that. Hey, thank Sorry you guys. Access already, but how do you put into words just a performance like that? Where, you know, past guys who have statues you know, out front. Yeah, I just feel blessed to be in the position I am. That's the only way. I haven't really watched a film or anything, so I gotta go back, watch that review, and let's sink in a little bit. So talk to your brother, and he said that you basically took his job, his tail back, back in little. Yeah, back because he, he got hurt or something. Yeah. and you you haven't stopped, I guess, at that position since. So yeah, I mean, he had he had a bit of a he banged his leg up a little bit back in the day, um, but that's that's kind of what happened there. We coached traders positions, and Sid came back and played DB. I was actually safety at first. So. Um, yeah, but it's been like that ever since. So he had the big hit last week, you know, it goes viral. You have a big performance today. Is it kind of like a tit for tat thing? You said like it, you all are happy for each other, but it's yeah. like, it's like, man, I, just seeing you perform like today, he's like, man, I got to do better on my end. So yeah, that's it, exactly what we're trying to outperform each other in some way, what a, what a somewhat way each week. So, um, but that's just the relationship that we have. It's competitive. We want to do well. We want to see each other do well. But uh, yeah, we'll carry on next week for sure. So Chase, how much time you have to spend in the ice bath uh, after this game? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't feel that bad actually, <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll definitely spend some time doing recovery and stuff. Um, I know, looking at some of these guys, and they were saying like, you know, this is even Coach said himself, this is Charlotte. You can't have a Big Ten team. So, yeah. what do you take away from this? And I guess move, move forward without it being like he was saying. He even told some of you all to just, I guess, calm down and, and right. move on. Yeah, no. Um, you know, we got to be humble with the win today. We beat an all-conference opponent. Uh, we did what we were supposed to do, um, but we got to learn from what we did today, learn from the mistakes, and uh, get better next week. And take the next time. You know, career game, obviously a huge number of yards, but it, it it kind of feels like this was coming at some point. That it was inevitable that you would have that kind of game. Did, did you have? Did you get the same feeling? I mean, like every single night before I go to bed, I try and envision myself making some sort of play, and um, I'm not gonna say I wasn't surprised, but. Um, you know, we work extremely hard throughout the week. Um, the guys played their butts off up front today, and uh, you know I'm just happy we left with the dub. Kind of leads on to you know, a couple questions that you guys asked earlier. You know, what do we take from this? What do we learn from this? Um, we take away the positivity. We take away all the good things we did today, and we learn from the negative stuff and we improve. How do, how do you and Josh complement each other? You know, run, uh, in terms of running running style. Yeah, I mean, Josh is 240 pounds and he's an absolute monster. <laughs> and the kid's really smart and he's getting better day by day, week by week. And as, as he gets more comfortable, I'm just excited to see what he does because he's extremely talented. Obviously, you know, not traveling last week and then, you know, you're back healthy and to have this kind of performance and really just be out there with your team this week, like, how rewarding was that? Yeah, you know, I was just grateful that coach gave me a little time off. Um, I was hurting a lot there after uh, the, I took a shot in the Maryland game, and my body needed to rest and recover. And, um, you know, I'm feeling really good. I don't want to jinx anything, guys. Uh, but I just want to, you know, learn from the win, take this win, go to the next week, and um, just take it to them. Thanks, Chase. Thank you. Thanks, Chase.